Welcome to a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Oh, where I'm falling over sticks. We're getting started with supper and I wanted to come out and see if we had any more green beans ready to go with the ones we already have inside. We'll grab these peppers while we're out here. And I'll check and see if we have any okra ready too. There's one right here. Okra is oh. like green beans. <laughs> They're hard to see sometimes. We might have enough to do some fried okra tonight with supper. One, two, three, four bell peppers. The plant seems to be doing okay, even though it's, you know, bent over. <laughs> seems to be doing fine. I wonder if I should take one of those stakes and try to stand it up. I'm gonna try it real quick. There we go, it's still uh, kind of bent, but <laughs> at least they're not coming out over here onto the ground. I'm gonna put this one over because that's what it's wanting to do anyway. Yeah, I think that's better. Whoa, that thing is ginormous now. <laughs> okay, film it and see if it's bigger than my head. Okay, I think it's probably about the same. We're not gonna be able to tell much difference from yesterday. No, it's big. It's big? Yeah. Okay. The pumpkin is grabbing on to Martha. That's why she's facing this way. Yeah. She's not mad at George. She ain't it's flirty either. I know no it's a flirty ball. stance, but. <laughs> We don't believe in that kind of behavior. I'm pretty sure that whatever's eating the, which is deer, I'm, I'm confident it's deer. More than likely, the deer are gonna come and stomp these uh, pumpkins right here. Well, we're gonna have to do something. We need about 15 Georgian Marthas out here. What if we put them all around the entire pumpkin patch? We won't have nothing in case that one of them starts to sing. Or... <laughs> and you say go. Okay, on your mark. Get set. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, three, go. Uh oh. That's okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so we finally have enough to make some green beans. First, we're gonna snap them. Once we get these beans ready, I'm gonna make the Salisbury steaks. That's what we're having for supper tonight. Salisbury steaks, mashed potatoes. We already got the potatoes going. Cornbread, already in the oven, and green beans. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and fry up some of this okra. Yeah, we're definitely gonna plant more beans next year because green beans are doing great. The deer and the bear don't like them, obviously, because they don't eat them. Well, they haven't yet anyway. Some of y'all said that the deer do get y'all's beans, so maybe they just like the other options first. I love snapping beans. It's good if you have a lot of them and you can just sit out on the porch with some tea, snap beans, listen to the birds. I love the sound of them snapping too. We got our autumn jazz playing over there. Even though it's not autumn yet, we're just getting ready. We're getting prepared for it. We're not decorating yet. We're gonna wait a couple of weeks before that. Yeah, I think we've got enough to make a little bit of fried okra. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the Salisbury steaks. I've got about three pounds of ground beef here. Wash my hands real quick. First, we'll put some salt and pepper. Woo, pepper was on the big, I don't like these little salt and pepper shakers, y'all. Or, you know, I mean, you can put other stuff in them. I just put salt and pepper in them, but they're just not my favorite. It works okay for pepper, uh, but salt, it's it gets hung up like the salt gets hung up under there and it's hard to spin it back and then if you try to spin it back it ends up opening the whole top so yeah i got these from pretty sure i got them from big lots i think or it might have been tj maxx but yeah they're see the salt one you could put other stuff in it but the top's already trying to come off just from trying to spin it back it's made that way because it's got bigger holes you know to do that but yeah okay it's gonna do good when I'm showing y'all okay okay salt shaker <laughs> for this amount we need two eggs but I'm just gonna use this one turkey egg because it's big enough and we're gonna use crushed crackers instead of breadcrumbs you can use either one just uh, we need about a cup so I'm just gonna crush these in here and they'll get crushed a little more when we're making the patties I've already got my skillet heating up over here now I have a slow cooker Salisbury steak recipe too that is really good and that's what I was thinking I would do for these today but 
I didn't get it started in time, so we're just gonna do it this way, but I'll link that recipe down below for y'all. Okay, so that's it for the patty. Sometimes I put onion in here too, but I'm gonna cook up some onions to serve on top of the Salisbury steak, so I'm just gonna skip putting it in the patties. All right, so now I'm just gonna start making the patties and putting them over here in the skillet. I'm probably gonna have to do two batches because I don't think I'll be able to fit it all at one time. All right, the first batch of Salisbury shakes is almost ready to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this onion because when the second, I got five more. I hope I can put them all on there. When that batch gets done, we're gonna cook the onion in there. Then we'll remove the onion and make the gravy. We'll get the next ones in. I forgot to say I have this just a little under medium. And with this second batch, I might even turn it down a little bit more in a minute. We'll see. Okay. We'll make those fit. There we go. Okay, Susie, let's see. In that bowl that you got, put me a cup of all-purpose flour okay. and a half a cup of flour. Okay. 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 Okay.